Nathan Graves, 989, interviewer and spokesman for the prison community. Hey guys, this is Nathan Graves989, and I'm here with the co-creator of Naruto Abridged, Vegeta3986. Vegeta, thanks for this interview. No problem. <laughs> Alright, my first question is, who do you voice in Naruto Abridged? Ooh, where to start? Uh, let's see. I voice Naruto, Sakura, Iruka, Hokage, Orochimaru, Zabuza, Neji, Tamari, Gilligan... Oh, jeez. Uh, there's a whole bunch of others I'm forgetting right now. Yeah, and Mickey. Oh, yeah, I love Mickey. Oh, and Rower. Gotta forget Rower. And Gara. Yeah, him too. What inspired you and Masako to make your own abridged series? Well, let's see. I'm, as Masako said in his interview, uh, we start, it started at the Karin episode fandom. We did a blooper reel, which turned out hilarious. So we're like, hey, let's do a parody series of something, but we didn't know what format to use. And then... We saw Yu-Gi-Oh! and figured, hey, that's a cool format to use. What's the writing process you go through? Well, let's see. Uh, it requires uh, four cans of Mountain Dew, it being 3 o'clock at night, and not having slept for twelve hour, for 24 hours. Yeah, bad, right? Uh, no, actually, though, it usually just it pops up. Usually, it won't start with the beginning of the script. It'll start with, like, a joke. And I'll be like, oh, cool, that'll be a cool joke. I'll have to put that in the middle of the script. And then, like, I have these 15 jokes in the middle of the script, and I just have to go back and make a coherent storyline out of it. Why Naruto, exactly? Why Naruto? Well, because, uh, let's see. I guess it's because it's so ripe with things you can make fun of. Because there's so many flashbacks, there's so many needless episodes, you're just like, why? Why is that even there? And you're like, it's, it's a fun show to do, it's a fun show to watch. But at the same time, you wish you just fast forward through a lot of the stuff. Like if I see one more flashback of Gara thinking about his childhood or Naruto thinking about his his horrible everybody leaving him alone for the past ten years, I'm gonna smack somebody. But it's a fun show. I like it. Who's your favorite character to voice? <laughs> Probably the Roa. <laughs> Could you just so much fun? And he gets to sing. Yeah, lag rowing. He, he's fun. He, he's the most fun to voice out of all of them. I mean, I mean, Naruto is just just me, but high, and Erika is just normal speech. So, like, some of them require more work than others. But Rower is the most fun out of all of them. So I say the Rower. Who's the hardest character to voice? I would say it's probably Gara. Maybe Gara is hard just because if I get excited with Gara, it turns into if you ever saw the um, Dead Zone bridge, it, gets, it turns into mustard really easily. So if I'm trying to be guard, I get really loud. It sounds like mustard. So, you know, it, it, it's hard to keep that quiet level of intensity, but also trying to make him loud. But if, if, but if, it's, if it's just normal speech patterns, I lose the root tomorrow quite quickly if I don't concentrate on it. It turns into, like, British or something weird. But I'm going to have to go with Gara's hard, pretty much. Do you have a favorite episode? Do I have a favorite episode? Ooh. I am partial to number two, probably because it's just where all, a lot of the jokes start. It's where the log started. It's where um, it's where Touche started. You know, it, it's um, uh, there's there's a whole bunch of jokes to start in episode two. I can't remember now, but just two was just great because it was the first episode. There was a lot of errors and like we just we couldn't we didn't get our feel our flow down. But then episode two, we got everything together and started. By episode three, we were like on our own on our own shtick, but by two, it was getting there, and I I love two. Besides two, I do also love eleven, Be, uh, because you could just because the whole gar of the funk introduction that was a lot, was a lot of fun too. I was waiting for that gar to come in for that. How did you come up with gar of the funk? Actually, gar of the funk came a while ago. Gar of the funk I thought of before I even started this series. It was basically, um, I don't know if you ever saw this, it was, it's like, it's like this cheesy dan gif of Gara dancing, and it, it, it's like a little chibi gif of him dancing, and I'm like, why is Gara dancing? That's, that's more like Gara of the dance or something. And, and then we, I was talking about Moscow, and I'm like, yeah, like, Gara of the funk. And we all started laughing, and I'm like, you know, maybe I should just make Gara Gara of the funk, I don't know. Let's do it for no apparent reason. Sure, why not? So you can thank a dancing gif of Gar for that one. 
Do you have a favorite joke in Naruto Abridged? Oh, man. I love... Well, <laughs> well I wrote all of them, so let's see. Um, of my favorites that I wrote... I do love I do love the whole touche thing, you know. Like at least I have a mom. I, I like that one a lot. Um, let's see what what else what else do I really like in that series? Uh, there's, oh, I I love how the hockey stick and the uh, and the maple syrup turned out in, in like fourteen. I was laughing so hard just the way he tilted his head in the hockey stick. I was like, <laughs> Masako, your mixing is brilliant. Um, other than that. The DS. The DS in 18 with the blue. The blue was really funny. I was waiting to use that joke, and I just couldn't find a spot to use that joke for blue. Because I, I hated my DS for a while after that. I was like, why won't it register blue? <laughs> uh, but, oh, uh, there's so many jokes. Uh, God, I like the log jokes. Oh, I love the milk joke. Ha ha moo is always classic. I don't know what we were thinking when we did that one. But there's so many good jokes in that series. I could give you, like, a top 20 almost. They're so great. How did you meet Lenny Pator? How did I meet Lenny Pator? Uh, actually, it was through Masako. Masako was all like, hey, there's this really cool abridger guy for Yu Yu Hakusho abridge. And I was like, oh, I like that show. So I watched the first episode, and I was like, wow, this isn't that great. But by the time episode th- like, my favorite episode of his is episode three. So when episode three came out, I was just laughing my ass off. So, like, after that, I, I knew I had to meet him and I had to talk to him just because episode three was so great. And then, um, and then Moscow introduced me to him through there, and, I, and we've been, like, friends ever since. What about HBI 2K? HBI 2K, Masako told me about his series, and I was like, oh, I'll watch it. And I'm a, big, I'm a fan of Berserk, except for the last disc. <laughs> but, um, so, like, I was, I was watching the series, and I was like, this guy is pretty cool. I, I, we should get him on the bandwagon, too. So I'm just like, hey, HBI, this is Vegeta from Naruto. You know, because he he had, he had, he had just made a funny joke to somebody else, because like, somebody asked when's your next episode coming out, and then so someone said um, uh, and then, and no he said to that person, oh well when's your next episode coming out? So I I figured I'd be coy and I was like, well my episode's coming out in a week, and he's like, oh it's Vegeta crap, <laughs> you know, yeah I thought that was that was that was pretty fun, but um no he, he's a really good guy I like him I like him a lot too. Do you have a favorite character to voice in the DBZ abridged movies? My favorite character to voice is Garlic Jr. is a lot of fun. I gotta say, Garlic Jr. He just—he's such a random, crazy voice. The other voices are pretty easy, you know, like Mustard and Turtle are all pretty easy. But Garlic Jr. is just so crazy and wacky, and Willow is just low with the, like audacity changing. But no, Garlic Jr. is so wacky and crazy. He's just a whole lot of fun. I, 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 if you notice, I use the word fun a lot. Is because that's how I gauge how good something is if it's a lot of fun or not. Because it's, it's, I'm doing this for fun. You know, it's a, it's a hobby. <laughs> how long have you been voice acting? Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna say July 2005. Yeah, because that's when I joined the, the voice acting alliance and I got my first role in a Gundam Seed Destiny fandom as Lord Gibral. And my mic was so crappy and awful back then. It was, like, staticky beyond recognition. But, it, like, apparently I, w- I was good enough to get the role, even though the, the mic was crap. But, yeah, so, like, I've, I've always been in love with it. But that was the first time I ever found a real site. I searched for, like, a year to find a site for that, and I finally found a VAA. And then I was so happy, and I just never stopped auditioning and getting roles for stuff. <laughs>